greensmachines.com. Morning, folks. It has been a week since we've started up the hydroponic garden and placed some plants into it. Today, I'm going to show off some plant growth and discuss some of the problems I've encountered over the first week. If you remember the thumbnail from last video, here's that same plant just one week later. Look at this guy. He's a lot bigger. However, you do see some root growth there too, but uh, there's not a lot of growth at the bottom yet. I think that is a big problem with this. It, you can't predict how long it takes the roots to grow. I did swap out a few of the plants that didn't quite hit the water and one from my uh, holding tank. Here's one good lettuce. Look at these nice roots here. That's what we want to see. It's going to get longer and longer and then I can move it from the starter channel into one of the lower ones that has significantly lower water level. So I hope that happens real soon and probably within the week you should be able to move plants from here down to the next row. And then uh, the cycle will continue, we'll have some great harvests. So during this week, we've encountered a few problems. A lot of it has to do with uh, the tree above. It, it just sheds a lot of leaves. I do think the shade is very important for this garden, especially since later this week, we're gonna have a 90 degree day, as in 90 degrees in April. So that is pretty hot, but since we're gonna have shade, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, another fun problem we had last week, there was a day it rained pretty heavily. Like in the afternoon, it just started dumping buckets. But because we do have the shade, and because this garden can tolerate some rain, no big deal. Get some good coverage from uh, the canopy above. Still pumping okay. Reservoir isn't overfilled. I think the bigger scare was you did hear some lightning and that sometimes can knock out power, but uh, that did not happen. The pump continued to run. Everything was okay. I mean, it wasn't pleasant when I was out here checking on the garden. It is raining really hard out here. Oh, was that a flash of lightning? It may have been. Right in the middle of the rainstorm and then the lightning came overhead and then I had to run away <laughs> real scared. That wasn't pleasant, but you know, the garden was okay. I was okay. It's all good. So yeah, this thing can operate in the rain, but uh, you do have to be careful where you place it in the event of a rainstorm like this. Um, as I did mention, you, since there's a lot of leaves coming out from the top and other debris, there was a, this second channel down here got clogged. It didn't overfill per se. Like it, we didn't lose any water here but it was clogged so the easiest way to unclog it I found was using this zip tie here it was easy just to you know go into the channel and just put it down the hole there to clear the blockage pretty simple nice to have something flexible like this especially if your hands can't get in there these snips here also work for helping clear blockages but if you need to get something out like that so one method I'm using to mitigate all these leaves falling though, I've started just placing the empty net cups there. They do catch leaves. Let's see if I can find one. Here's one. So he's already got a leaf in it. For these other rows of channels, I don't have the net cups in yet. I'm gonna have to clean them out again prior to starting up those ones. That shouldn't be a big deal. So if throughout this entire week, the reservoir level, even with the overfilling has remained constant, that's good. I wouldn't have to overfill it yet. There was one morning I did come out though, and this uh, drip line wasn't flowing. And I looked in the reservoir and it, the tubing on the splitter down there was disconnected. That's an easy fix, you just reconnect it and start flowing again. So very good, this garden's very adaptable. We're seeing great plant growth so far over the week. Hopefully we can move these plants to the next row and move plants from my starting area into this top row here. And then we'll keep getting more and more seedlings in and continue to populate the garden. So leave a comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe to Greens and Machines. And if you want to build a garden just like this one, the plans are available on my Etsy shop. So go check that out. It's very inexpensive. It's all here for you. So we'll see you in the next video and the next update.